Now here I've walked down a short trail from the parking area at the top of Polina Peak. And there in the distance you can see East Lake. And between East Lake and Polina Lake are the two smaller sin or, uh, pumice cones. And just coming onto the view and going to go up from the middle of the caldera back over towards the south rim. And all of that grayish black material down there is the big obsidian flow. It is big. And the front of the obsidian flow, like if you were standing at the front of the obsidian flow down there, not too far away from the road, it's a good 100 feet tall. And parts of the obsidian flow towards the back, like that area on the east side is a little bit very deep divot there next to the obsidian flow, the obsidian is at least a couple hundred feet high. And if you uh, have already looked at, or are you gonna look next at the video from Lava Butte, the basalt there at Lava Butte only was about maybe 10 to 15 feet high at the edge. And the difference is because of the character of the lava. Obsidian is almost all glass. It's real thick and sticky because it's really high in SiO2. Whereas basalt is only about 50% SiO2, and so it is a much runnier, thin lava.